video tutorials by Andy Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can uh, create some interesting adjustment layer gradient map effects using quick mask mode and blurs and selections. Now, what I'm going to do, first thing to do, I'm just going to get rid of this. This is the sort of end result I want, but there's obviously depending really on the gradient map that you use. There's thousands of possible gradient maps, thousands of possible results at the end of it. Now, just going to come out of that. So I'm flattening my, now I'm starting from a, with a fresh new image. So select, select all and copy, edit copy. So I want basically to paste that into quick mask mode. So I'm just going to go to quick mask mode and now edit and paste. So you've got that in there. What I want to do now is actually blur the quick mask. So I'm just going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And going to go reasonable. So it gives it creates a sort of sh a shimmery effect in the with the gradient map. So right, that's done. That's been blurred. Now I'm going to come out of quick mask mode, and there you've got it. You actually you can see it's basically still follows the image, but it's a sort of obviously it's not a exact follow of the, the image. But anyway, now once you've done that, now I can actually go to a layer and a new adjustment layer and a gradient map. Click OK. Now, well, obviously at this point I could stop, but I, I'm actually going to go through a few of these gradients. Now this over here, you've got properties. You can't actually see the properties. It's window and properties. And it just got, I've got loads and loads of different gradients here. But these ones are from graphic extras. But of course there are actually ones, if you go over to this side, you can actually see a range of color harmony, color harmonies, metals, etc. You can select those, of course, and use those. If you just go, just by clicking through, you can actually see different effects you can create. Some work better than others, some that are not so, some create a nice sort of blur. Right, now just gonna go through some of these ones. I'm just gonna select that one. Yeah, what I wanted is one that actually creates a sort of like this sort of odd sort of ghostly look around the edge. Because one thing you can do with things, because they are just a layer, so you just go over here, layers, you can actually just rotate it and you can actually resize it, so you can just resize that. Move it up over there. And you can create sort of unusual weird glows just by using the gradient map. Just there. And you still can see, you've still got the general look of the face there. So it's a sort of ghostly look. There. Click OK. Hope you found this of interest.